Hi, everybody. My name is Isaac, and this is Julie Hall. Hi, Julie. Hi, Isaac. Say hi to everybody. Hi. 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 <laughs> okay, here's the thing about Julie. She is a caterer who has worked with me before. This is my kitchen. Um, we're going to cook together a little bit. Oh, this is fun. I love making things with you. I love cooking, yes. and I love ice cream. Ice cream is my favorite oh, food. Okay. So this is this recipe. That it's, I mean, it's a res recipe for ice cream. Basically, it's a kind of a custard base, right. which we'll go over in fine detail. And then it's got cherries and chocolate, but the cherries are special because they're macerated in rum. Yeah, well, what are you going to soak it with if not alcohol? You know, that's what I want to know. I don't know. What are you going to soak it with? Nothing like, that exciting. That's Kool-Aid sure. or something? No. Yeah, you want to soak it with alcohol. Yes. I could call it my recipe because I made it up, but I mean, like, it's like shooting goldfish in a barrel. So should we start? Yeah, sure. All right. I think that's the first thing we would do, right, is soak the cherries because they so need a soak minute the cherries. to... Yeah. All yeah. right, so this is what? Three, two-thirds of a cup of rum or three-quarters of a cup of rum? Yep, three quarters of a cup of rum. All right, so by the way, I've tried it with fresh cherries and it works really great, but it works even better with dried cherries because the actual cherries have like a lot of water in them. So when you dry them down, they get icy. Exactly, they get icy in the machine. Or would we cherries. chop the cherries first? Yes. We would yes. chop the cherries first. Yeah, okay, I let's think do that. Absorb, the, uh, absorb all that yes, rum, baby. Get those all the cherries really drunk. Okay. If I were straight and I married you, yeah. We would be like a power couple <laughs> with those knife skills, honey. Couple. Are you married? I am. You are. Yes. Does your husband like your? Does he like yes. your cooking? Yes. Do you think that's a big part of why His he married you? His girlish figure shows. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at so that you technique, just honey. That's go some through. knife skills, knife skills, <laughs> knife skills. We're gonna put him back in our measuring cup, yes. right? Back. My hands are really clean. I wash them a hundred times. I promise. The rum <laughs> yes. goes right into the. Yes cherries and they are now soaking all right and they're going to expand in size a little bit how long right. would you say they need to soak darling um two hours at least two hours five. at least and up to five hours yes. okay yes so then that's setting right, right. you're doing that and by that's the way right. at the end you're going to drain that out and in the recipe i actually made a note like use the rum to oh, make a delicious don't, cocktail yes, don't throw uh, that yeah out. that's like all a right. sin so now we're going to make the custard base for yes. the ice cream right and the thing about it with custard is that it always, I'm not kidding, it works better if you bring the custard down to like, at least room temperature, if not chilled, before you churn it in your ice cream maker. It right. just works better. All right. Okay. So now the way to start that is we are going to separate some eggs, right? Okay. Could you show me how to separate a damn sure. egg, please? She's going to show us how. So I think it's best to crack an egg on a flat surface, because if you do it on yeah. the side of the bowl, it can push the shell back in. So you just want to crack it on a flat surface. So you just go back and forth between the halves of the shell. And by the way, that's how like home cooks separate eggs, which is good, right? Oh yeah, you so could crazy. also crack it and hold and dump it in right. your hand and let the white the fall white through. Fall through. Right, you could do okay. it that way too. That's so now right. we have six egg yolks here, right? Right, we have With, this. that's, what is that? This a half a, a cup of half sugar? That's a half a cup of sugar. Half yeah. a cup of sugar. Should I do this? I'm doing it. Sure, and I'll, I'll whisk it. You whisk it, babe. Yes. All right, so now we got the egg yolks in the bowl right. with a part of the sugar. This. And that is kind of known as denaturing the egg, right? Right. You're kind of almost cooking it, denaturing it, meaning changing the nature of the egg. Right, right. right. And you're, you're cooking correct. it and you're getting it into ribbons. And ribbons, you want it to be yes. Ribbons. Okay. We want to thoroughly combine the sugar and the yolks. So it's going to get light in color. Light in color, and A exactly. little bit thicker. Right. Yes. Thicker and lighter. Delicious. Yes, so okay. In the meantime, you take, what is this, two cups of cups. milk. Actually, just milk, right? Yes, just and milk for now. You would put that into a small saucepan with, is that a quarter of a cup of sugar, right? Yes. One quarter of a cup of sugar into the saucepan, plus the kind of the zhuzh of one vanilla bean. Yeah. So watch Julie, she's really smart at zhuzhing, at zhuzhing. I always knew her to be a very smart zhuzhing of vanilla. That might be the first time I've ever been called that. Look, see, you cut it in half and then you kind of... Cut it in half and, and then, then all scrapey, the goodness, scrapey, 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 all scrape. the goodness is in here. Back. Back of the knife, darling. It's dangerous, dangerous otherwise. Oh. You just have to split it. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so that, that. So all, all that, that zhuzh goes in there. That's the good stuff. And right, we pour, go put that in too. Mm -hmm. even it's more is one gonna vanilla come bean, out. two cups of, of milk, and one quarter of a cup of sugar in this mixture, right? Yes. And then you want to put this on the stove and get it hot, yes. right? You want to boil this. 
you want to call it scalding, darling? Scald? I mean, what is scalding? It, scalding is when it like goes. It kind of simmers a little right, bit. Exactly. But. Right, exactly. That's what scalding is. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Right. Just a pinch of salt. Pinch of to salt. Off, offset all the sugar. I'm going to give this a little stir because the sugar might settle on the bottom. Right. So. Oh, right. Scorch. Stir your milk mixture. Yeah. That, Inter you, at, at you have to constantly stir it, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, I smell yes. the rum, darling. I'm yes. already getting excited oh, about this. Um, By the way, this is very sexy to me. When yeah. you hold a whisk like this, <laughs> I get a little excited, I have to say. It's like, you know, I'm you want to hold the whisk. I like holding the whisk like this. Ooh, <laughs> right? There's something evil about that, right? The way hold, holding a whisk like this. Yeah, you know what? You've got to have fun while you're cooking. <laughs> like, so. you know, no. No, we're not yeah. being too fancy okay, here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're getting hot now. All you want to do is mix the sugar in and get the thing hot. Okay, so what we're going to do is, if we just put this hot mixture right in here, we're going to end up with scrambled eggs. Right, exactly. So, what we need to do is take... Temper the eggs. Temper, yeah, this is called tempering. That's the fancy term. A so little you, bit of the hot liquid into the eggs so that they get used yes. to it and they go like, ah, Yes, bad. bring them up slowly. Little do they know. Shock them. Little do they know they're that they're going to go right into right the back actual into the bath. Exactly. So that's good. So now, okay. so now we can pour it all back in. So now the milk goes into no, the eggs go into the milk, right? The, yeah, the eggs go into right, the milk. Right. Here we go. Boom. With the all of it, the, the oh, vanilla. We, yeah, we got to get all this uh, vanilla bean and everything in all there. All of that so I'll goes let you into the. And now, how long do you cook the custard? For like seven minutes, yeah. six minutes, seven minutes? Yeah. Till it coats the back of a spoon so that you know it's kind right. of thick enough, right. right? Exactly. So now she's just cooking the custard. You can't let it sit. You have to cook it and cook it. And you have to right. keep stirring because if it sits, it breaks. And you don't right. want it to break. It needs it'll to be curdle. Like, it'll it curdle. Gets like it's a curdled gross. texture. It's gross, gross, gross. Yes. I usually use a wooden spoon to stir, but that's you want fine. To use a wooden spoon? Yes, let's use sure. a wooden spoon. And what heat is it on? Medium? It's, it's on medium, but you have to really babysit it. Yeah, you, can't, you, can't you can't let, let it go. go. Mm -hmm. And you're looking for the texture to coat the spoon. Coat the back of the spoon. And it has to, like do if you, thing. yes, use your finger. Yeah, exactly. And that's called nappe. What is it called? Nappe. Nappe, okay. <laughs> it's already looking a little thicker. All the, the yeah. foaminess all of the, the top bump, has the, kind of the, gone away. The, the foaminess has gone away. Oh. Yeah, and you could actually feel the sort of like the, the water coming out of it, and it's oh, just yeah. getting thicker. Yeah. yeah. So then now is when you run it through a sieve. Yes, we right? want to get the vanilla exactly. bean um, pod out of there. And look what I'm look what look what she has done because she's so smart. She put a measuring cup in like ice water, and then the sieve on top. So it just is so simple. It goes like that, right? Yeah, and it stops the cooking. Into the, the cooking. sieve. It stops the cooking. We don't want to overcook no this No more mixture. cooking. We've got to get it out of the pan. Get it out of the pan. That's and we right. have to also chill it now. It goes in the right. refrigerator. That's and then, and, and now this is when you can add the cream. Faster. So I'm going to add a cup smart. of cream. Are you all ready for me to do that, you guys? <laughs> Adding a cup of cream to this <laughs> mixture, right? There you go. Boom. Done. And now that needs to be cooled. Oh, it smells so good. It smells really good. And it's really delicious like that. If you were making dessert and you were like making cake or something oh. like that and you wanted to serve it with a sauce, that's yes. called creme anglaise, right? It is. And correct. by the way, if you're lazy and you don't want to make that one night and you're having people over, just get some vanilla ice cream and, and melt, melt it, it down. down. Yeah, good, good vanilla ice cream. Like you put like a piece of cellophane over that so and put it in skin. the refrigerator yep. so that it doesn't get skin and also right. doesn't get any tastes from right. the refrigerator that's true. and you'd cool it down. Right. So now um, pretend that that's cold. Right. Pretend it's cold. We're pretending. Okay, so now we're going to pour the custard mixture into the freezer. Check it out. Julie yes. does a very good job of this. Thank you. This is one of her best skills. <laughs> the pour. Right, and, and, and you know, use a spatula to get out all those, those oh, vanilla yeah. seeds. We good. Done, we're good. Okay, And awesome. now we're going to churn, check this out. How many minutes, darling? Do you want to do 20? 20 minutes, yeah. Well, I think it's we'll 20 minutes. I mean, because it's hot, it might take a little bit longer, but okay. I think we'll be cool. So check that out. Did you yeah, love that? Yeah, that looks so good already. That is so beautiful. That is a beautiful thing. This is just happens to be like a yeah. restaurant quality. Yes. I'm a little proud of my ice cream machine. You should machine, be. Darling. That's a nice... That's I'm a little proud of this baby. I think the best time to do your best shopping is when you're drunk. 
I mean it. You always make the rightest decisions about the shit you buy when you're drunk. Absolutely. No question about it. Because you don't second guess yourself. No, you and you go. go like, I want that, and you get it, right? By the way, that's why they have like glasses of champagne at Bergdorf's, because they want people to get drunk that's so smart. they make the right choices. They know. Absolutely. They know. Do you ever notice that you walk into like a, an expensive store and they're like, can I get you some liquor? Oh, yeah. Can I get you some liquor? Because, yeah. Especially when you go wedding dress shopping, too. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh drink heavily yes. before you go wedding dress shopping. <laughs> You'll spend more. So now, while that was churning, that yes. ice cream, we have to chop the chocolate and drain the cherries, right? Right. right. And it's really simple. She got, you got this as my favorite chocolate. It's called Calabot, right? Yeah. And you can look it up it's online. It's delicious. It's delicious. Okay. It's very Show rich. us how to chop it, yes. would you? So I prefer to use a serrated knife. Um, I just find it grips the chocolate better and you want to use the flattest surface and you kind of go along with the angle of the chocolate. And the delicious thing is that you're getting like oh, some chards and shit. Yeah. Yes. So we're just going to chop up chop three, up the three thing. quarters of a cup. So oh, through the just... magic of television we have some chocolate done, We do. Right? We have some all set right here. Perfect. Ready Look, to go. How perfect that is. Chocolate. Yes. And then um, the cherries, now you want to like strain them, right? Right. So right. they go through a strainer, right? Through the strainer. Everybody watching? Just through a strainer into there. And, uh, and what would you say, like, the thing is, you don't want them too rum soaked for no. the ice cream because then it also gets like. It won't freeze, right? It won't freeze properly. Yeah, like so you have to kind really of. So you do that. That's Just simple. Let it drain good. Okay, you let that drain well. And now, in the last seconds of the churning, check this out, you guys. Right? Now is when you put the stuff in, right. so it mixes nicely, right? So we're gonna put the chocolate Boom. in. These cherries in. Oh, it smells amazing. Yes, the, yeah, the rum cherry It smells juice. amazing. I know it's making a lot of noise, but yeah. now is when we scoop the ice cream out. Now the ice cream is going to come out. Okay, can I just say something about this scooper? It's this is a hugely expensive machine, and this is literally worth like two cents. But if without this, you cannot get the ice cream out of there, and I've tried everything. So if you get this ice cream machine, you might want to get two of these. You might want to write to the Lello company and get two or three of these, because when that goes, you can no longer make ice cream. I'm just telling you that. It's crazy. Because look, this, this happens, and then this comes out with, with the um, churn, and then some really, really lucky person gets to lick this, oh, OK? I'm just yes. saying. Can't like waste me. any just, of that. Yeah. That is so delicious, that thing right now, that thing to lick that. Should I do it? Should I yes, lick it on camera? Yes, definitely. We have to try. We need mm. quality control. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And now check this out. This goes into the bowl. You scrape this out. And it's like soft serve, right? Right. This is fine, this consistency, right? It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I it's pretty good. The, no more liquidy than Can that. Can I ask you something? Just is there a wrong consistency no. for ice cream? No. no, is the answer to that. And you see how important this implement is, right? Right. This little paddle, it's really important. And um, Isaac had a good point earlier about freezing the bowl before... Uh, yeah, you free you like to freeze a bowl right. before you... I think so it's a smart cold, point. cold. Mm -hmm. Can I say something else, Julie? Yes. It's like when you make pasta, when you make fresh pasta, you sort of can't go wrong with that either. No. So ready? Through the magic of television, yes. we have a pre-made ice cream. We okay, do. it's all set up and frozen properly. And it's right here. Ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> okay, so now here it is. Check this out, right? <gasps> so, good. so look, this isn't really set up as brilliantly, but it's a little oh. bit better. I mean, come look on, kids, really? We're eating this together. We made it together. We're eating right. it together, sister. Well, we gotta cheers. 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 <laughs> Mm. I can do the whole thing, <laughs> like times three. <laughs> no, the cherries. Mm. Oh, I do like the dried. It's got a chew to it. Where are you speaking? It. Is someone saying something? I don't know. Because my head is bursting with happiness <laughs> right now. Even look at the texture. Mm -hmm. It's so creamy. Mm. This is so delicious. You're so crazy. Good. You are crazy. Everybody You're needs crazy. 